Are you wondering if Branson, Missouri is the best place for your vacation this year? I'm gonna deal with six myths about a Branson, Missouri vacation, and I'm going to debunk all of them right now. Hey, welcome to TPF, Trips, Places, and Fun, where we talk about the best family adventures, both close to home and when traveling. My name is John, and today I'm gonna debunk some myths. These are myths that should be debunked without question. And I know Branson, Missouri attracts a lot of people. Uh, eight, nine, 10 million, I'm not sure what the number is now, uh, but a lot of millions of people come to Branson every year during the summer, spring break, during the Christmas season. It's an entertainment mecca. I absolutely love it. My family and I live here. It is just wonderful to live in Branson and it's wonderful to visit. But there are some myths out there that we have got to squish, right? Or squash. No, squash is something you eat. I think squash is something you do as well. Look that up. Leave it in the comments below. Is it squish or squash? But it doesn't matter. We're going to debunk these myths. All right, number one is extremely obvious, and it's the one that we hear the most. Number one is the traffic, the crazy, insane, maddening traffic. Let me explain how this works. The traffic is maddening during the heavy seasons, especially when the shows are letting out or different things are happening on the strip on Highway 76. So yeah, definitely there is crazy traffic. One of the reasons is because a lot of people like to visit here, but let me help you. There are un almost, it seems, unlimited back roads that you can take to get almost anywhere in Branson in a very short amount of time. We can get anywhere in Branson, usually in less than five or 10 minutes. And we're just shooting through the back roads. There's a map that you can use that shows you a, a few different primary back roads or routes. You've got the blue route and the yellow route and the red route. And these are gonna take you uh, around the traffic. You're gonna end up traveling in distance two or three times as far possibly. But in terms of time, man, you're gonna cut off 90% or more of the time that it would take you to travel down Highway 76. So that's the first way you can handle that. The second way is what I always do whenever, whenever I'm traveling somewhere and there's crazy traffic, pulling out the GPS, ignoring what the nice lady on the GPS is telling you to do and telling you where to go, but instead just broaden that map out a little bit and just look and look at the different connecting roads and just head down one of those roads and it'll take you into a new mysterious land. I mean, it'll take you somewhere that you didn't know that you were gonna go, but you're gonna see where it's gonna hook up with Highway 76 down the road just a little bit. And there are many, many, many of these back roads all over Branson. So you should never have to deal with traffic, all right? So that's number one. Number two, we're gonna debunk this myth that Branson is mostly for retired people. And I'll start by saying that Branson is a great place for retired people. And especially at the end of the summer when kids are back in school, the tour buses start cruising into town. And we do have many, many retired people who have a blast shopping and going to Silver Dollar City and just having a great time here in Branson, visiting the restaurants, going to Branson Landing, a variety of different activities. Uh, I'm sure that they love going to Dolly Parton Stampede and the shows. And so, yeah, definitely retired people love it here, but Branson definitely has expanded its horizons in, in recent years to where now this is a prime family destination. And so while many, many years ago, it was mostly about the shows, now th there are shows that are still phenomenal, but there's also a lot more to do. And so it's not mostly for retired folks. Man, this place is full of families and kids and it's a great great place to have family fun or as couples honeymooners visit Branson and so now Branson has so many different attractions like you know like sky coasters and uh, you got Fritz's adventure and just uh, the lake is a great place to go with jet skiing and you can rent a boat and go water skiing and uh, just a lot of activities for everybody you know and my wife and I before we moved here, we loved coming to Branson. I mean, it's so, there's so much fun to do. You got white water in the summer, showboat Branson Bell is a great cruise, dinner cruise, and you know, I can go on and on and on. Go-kart tracks and 
there's a lot to be seen here and a lot to experience for sure. Uh, it's not mostly for the retired folks. Okay, number three. Number three, here is a myth that we are going to debunk right now. It's too expensive. Too expensive. Now, anywhere that you can go, that you go can be crazy expensive or it can be cost effective. It just, of course, depends on what you do. But let me use an example here. Silver Dollar City is one of the nation's premier theme parks. Uh, I have loved Silver Dollar City for years and years and years. And uh, we go, we have season passes every year. And as an example, a Silver Dollar City one day ticket, I believe, is about $68. And a season pass is $105. Now compare that, for example, to Disney World. And granted, Disney World is a much bigger bigger park, and I get that. And it's not the perfect comparison. I get that. But this isn't a Disney World vacation. This is a Branson, Missouri vacation with a world-class theme park. A Disney World season pass starts at $894. And then goes way, way up from there. Uh, additionally, at Silver Dollar City, you know, children four and under are free. And this is something that I bet a lot of people don't take advantage of. If you go after 3 p.m., then th the next day is free. If you use your money wisely and use your time wisely, you can get a whole lot more bang for that buck. Silver Dollar City is certainly not too expensive. It's incredibly cost effective, you know, in my opinion. And then you have a variety of other things that you can do. Uh, in fact, you can go to the lake. That doesn't cost at all. You can go hiking. You can eat at some great restaurants. You can spend a little bit of money on some of the other attractions like the escape rooms in town or go-karts or Fritz's Adventure and things like that. You can keep your budget really low and have loads of fun. In fact, there's more to be done low cost here in Branson that you can't really do it all in one vacation. So I would encourage you to really check you know, all of the different things that you want to do and then consider maybe if that package of things that you want to do is a little too expensive, break it up into some other things. Again, there's a ton to do that does not cost a lot, and there's a ton to do that's free here in Branson, Missouri. All right, number four, we're gonna debunk. That is too hokey. That is just like this hokey, cheesy, hillbilly thing. That's not Branson. Now, you can find some of this fun, hillbilly stuff. You know, I think of shows like Presley's, and they are, it's a country show, but I'm telling you what, hokey would not be the word that I would, would use for those guys. That's an amazing show. And yes, it's got slapstick comedy and it's goofy and it's silly and definitely got that country feel and some of that hillbilly stuff's going on for sure. But it is great, great, great entertainment. And then beyond that, you just have a lot of phenomenal things that you can do. You can go outdoor skydiving. You can go to Whitewater, Silver Dollar City, Shepherd of the Hills, an amazing outdoor drama there. You can go horseback riding get out and go water skiing, fishing. I mean, you can go on and on. You know, you've got Ripley's Believe It or Not here, the Hollywood Wax Museum, so much. And there's new attractions coming like Wonderworks and the National Enquirer Museum. And there's a massive new, amazing looking aquarium that may be coming to town. And so definitely not too hokey by any means. Branson, Missouri. In fact, it's very much like Myrtle Beach if you've ever been there. It's very much like Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg if you've ever been there. But Branson has the Ozark Mountains and it does have that relaxed, slower pace kind of feel. I like that. And so definitely not too hokey. Number five, number five, we're going to debunk this myth. Some people think this. I, a lot of people understand that this is not true, that it's not for kids. And this place is really for kids, like, like in a major way. If you go to Silver Dollar City, there is so much to do for the kids. It's crazy. I mean, there's whole areas devoted to kids and awesome rides that they're going to love and Fireman's Landing and so much there. And, you know, in a lot of other rides, you know, they're also going to be able to ride. And then there's funny shows and attractions and different things there at Silver Dollar City. So that place is great for kids. Beyond that, you've got you know, some even indoor water parks or white water. You've got horseback riding, depending on how old the kids are. Even at our business, Escape Code, kids of all ages love Escape Code. And they're coming in little slings where mom is carrying them. Toddlers are helping solve 
things as best they can in the escape room. And then certainly those that are five and six and eight and 10, they love escape rooms. So there's a lot, there's a whole bunch to do for kids. In fact, just drive down the strip or drive around and kids are gonna be asking, mommy, 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 can I go there? And they're gonna see so much to do. So it's definitely, definitely for kids. And then number six, number six, let's debunk this one. I've heard people say, well, there's just not enough to do. You know, I've even heard people say that they drove here on, uh, on a Saturday, they did some things and then they ran out of things to do and they left on Sunday. And I'm thinking, what in the world? They must not have been in Branson. That's, it's impossible to do that. In fact, if you are going to spend just a day, I just recorded a video, I'll put the card right up here, how to have the best day trip in Branson, Missouri. I talk about dining and attractions and things like that. But as far as this video is concerned and we're debunking stuff today, that there's not enough to do, that is insanity. Silver Dollar City can easily take up two or three days if you have time to spend two or three days. It's a great way to do it. Add to that the water parks and the lakes and all the stuff I've already been talking about. You could fill up months. The shows, of course, you know, if you got phenomenal uh, magic shows and music shows, you have Sight and Sound Theater, which is an epic, epic theater and a production there. Just a lot to be done. Branson Landing, shopping. If somebody says there's not enough to do, they are just maybe in the wrong place, I think. Maybe they drove to the wrong city because it's never, ever ending. We've lived here for a long time now, several years. We're nowhere near doing everything that there is to be done here in Branson. So I believe I have successfully debunked that. I'm gonna add one more to this. I'm not gonna debunk it though. This is non-debunkable. This isn't a complaint that I've heard that there's no adult scene in Branson. They're looking for the late night activities and the late night clubs and the, you know, all of that. And while there are, there is some of that, I am very happy that there is not much of that. So that one's true. If you're coming here to party, uh, this is not the place for you. I love the fact that Branson is remaining true to its roots to be a family destination. I'm happy that the casinos aren't here and the adult entertainment and the bars and all of that. I'm very, very happy that that is not here and we can keep that hometown family feel here in Branson. Uh, it's just what so many of us love about Branson is we can escape all of that and just settle into something that's, that's a little more childlike, all right? And so that's Branson, Missouri for you. So there's six myths that were debunked, one that was not debunkable because it's true, but I would love some comments. You know, what do you think? What, are, what have you heard about Branson? You know, let's debunk some more myths. But uh, honestly, I'll tell you this, Branson really doesn't need my help because this place is growing at a at lightning speed. People are coming here year after year after year, and Branson really doesn't need me to stand up for it. It stands up very well for itself. It is an amazing place to vacation. All right, there you have it, everybody. Watch some of our other videos. I, we have several videos out about Branson, including you know restaurants and you know what to do in the off season. There's so much for you to check out on the videos on this channel. Oh, would you do us a favor and give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe and then ding the bell so you can always be notified every time we upload a new video. All right, everybody, there you have it. And we will see you again in the next video.